In this episode I will install my new R400X DSSI expander in my VEX VMS cluster. Hello viewers, welcome to the 60th episode of my channel and uh, a few weeks ago I showed you this thing here, this R400X DSSI expander and today I uh, want to integrate that expander into my cluster, so uh, connect it with the two VEXs here, the VEX4200 and the VEX4300. Uh, I'm not uh, completely happy at the moment with the situation with the VEXs. Because, yeah, uh, some of you may know that the power supply isn't working really well. So I've put the power supply back into the VEX 4300, but yeah, it will uh, turn off after some minutes. But for that video and for that test I will show you today, I think it will work. But yeah, I'm uh, hoping that I'm able to repair the power supply. But uh, at the moment, I think maybe it's better to buy a uh, yeah, new power supply or a new used power supply which is working because yeah, that's maybe cheaper than yeah, the money I've spent uh, on my repairing attempt on the power supply but maybe I will do it but you can find yeah, videos on the power supply on my second channel uh, where I publish uh, videos about my repairing attempts um, and uh, here this the uh, X4200 remove the cover um, yeah uh, in the swapping video I found out that the cable uh, here this I cable the internal uh, yeah uh, it's broken and uh, I've tried to repair it, but that doesn't work, so I have to build a new one. Yeah, so I hope that I'm able to build a new one, then I can use that connector here. Uh, yeah, at the moment I, I still have to use the bulkhead of the KFQSA, which is connected here, the, the other cable, uh, with the DSI con internal DSSI controller. Yeah, this, these are the two things yeah, that have to be done on both machines, but uh, yeah, the VEX4200 is working, so this is, yeah, uh, so this is good, yeah, so I can boot with that machine. I've removed the system disk, the system disk moved here in the expander. Um, I've uh, showed you the whole expander in uh, an episode uh, yeah, some weeks ago, uh, I will link this episode also down below. And uh, in the meantime, I've completely disassembled the uh, expander and cleaned everything and built some parts back together. And the system disk is, uh, yeah, is moved. Uh, I have moved the system disk to the expander. Uh, and now I will also remove in that episode uh, the remaining three disks. So this is uh, the distance which was located here in that slot, but that slot is empty. Uh, these uh, yeah, these three disks I will move into the expander. Um, down here there are three other disks. Um, yeah, I've got the expander with five hard drives and I will uh, try them out. So I've put the, put the three of them in the uh, lower three slots and uh, in the upper four slot there uh, will be the old VEX uh, 4300 hard drives. Um, and you know, uh, I mean, no, no. You may know that yeah, you can yeah, use up to seven hard drives on one DSSI bus, but uh, maximum uh, yeah, you have only eight ADs and there are two VEXs, so uh, I've split the expander. So here, um, that there are the connections, and uh, when you put it here, this thing uh, was located over here, and uh, I've dropped them, and now uh, both the lower part and the upper part are splitted, so um, I can I will connect the lower hard drives only to the second DSI controller of the VEX 4300 and the upper four hard drives uh, will connect to the VEX 4200 and the VEX 4300. So uh, the uh, expander will be in the middle of the two VEXs. Therefore, yeah, I cannot see the lower three disks on the VEX 4200, but uh, this machine has only one DSI controller, so I'm not able to connect yeah, all hard drives to all machines. I have, still have a KFQS ADSI controller for the VX4200, uh, but the bulkhead yeah, is used at the moment for the internal DSI controller, so yeah, I cannot connect it. So I will connect, yeah, uh, I will use the Terminator and one cable uh, to the lower 
uh, hard drives. Yeah. Uh, the cables here on the top, these are the DSSI cables, and there's also the uh, ground cable, because here on the power supply there is a screw over here, and they have to connect yeah, the ground, the grounding, um, which is, let's go to the uh, back force. You can see this is the grounding, which is connected here to the cabinet on the right, and uh, then I will connect these, uh, the grounding cable here to that machine and uh, yeah, connect it over to the uh, R400X expander. Yeah, and another thing is I will swap the position. So uh, the VX4000 200 will be placed on the left and the expander will be placed in the middle. Yeah, so let's start. And yeah, uh, I will connect everything and then I will try to boot from the boot the VX4200 from the hard drive in the expander. And I will also start the VX4300 just to see if uh, I can see all seven hard drives. I think I uh, do not have enough time with the power supply to boot uh, VMS as well. Now everything is connected. The expander is in the middle and the X4000 turn on the left, turn on the top. Here the X4300, I've removed all the hard drives. Uh, and on the right slot, I will install a an, uh, TF85 tape drive later. So uh, this slot will be used. This is a DSSI DLT3 uh, tape drive. Uh, and these three slots uh, will be empty soon, but I only have two covers, two empty covers. And, yeah, still not 3D printed, the uh, fourth one. So therefore, that, yeah, that slot will be uh, open at the moment, but I think it's not a big uh, problem for the, uh, for the cooling of the system. And also, this mission is also not running because yeah, the power supply still has an issue. So I think that's not a really big problem. And you see here, um, the lower three discs are connected to that. This is the SSI bus. This is the internal one, so it runs through that four slots and then down to here. And uh, the four devices are connected to that DSSI bus, uh, which can be expanded with this slot here, the uh, terminator. So when I will uh, get a, a third rex or a second rex of this one, I can connect that rex here to that bus and then uh, the rex can also access the DSSI hard drive. And then here uh, in the expander, this is the connection for the lower disks and there's a terminator for the lower disks and yeah, the upper disks are connected here and then it goes through the four slots and then 
it ends here and this ends in the VEX 4200. So let's start it. Turn it on. Discs are filling up. Oh yeah, there's the run button. It's not pushed. So it seems like all seven discs starts. You can see soft test, no fault indication. So this is these are the newer. Uh, covers, these are the older covers. The newer covers don't have the run and write protect, but they are only available on the older ones. But you, of course, here are, there are the RF31 hard drives behind one cover. It's also possible to, uh, to uh, yeah, uh, mount two hard drives under one cover. So that's working. So let's start the VEX 4200. And there is the Start. Let's see if it's possible to see the hard drives. So the self tests are uh, yeah, completed, and let's enter show. Oops, uh, the spacebar is not best condition. Keyboard. Ah, yeah, there are the hard drives. So let's try to boot from uh, the hard drive DIA3 and you'll see, ah, no, it's there must be the boot option because it has to boot from sys to sys2 folder. And in the meantime, yeah, I'll still wait for the date and time. Enter part. After that, I will switch over to the VEX 4300 and start it. And I hope that it will uh, uh, stay on for five minutes just to check the other three hard drives. But first of all, I have to enter date and time in open VMS, otherwise yeah, it won't proceed yeah, the booting process. And you can see the machine is, in the meantime, the machine is turned off, but there is bus power. So uh, yeah, if the light on the terminator is on, so the bus is Powered. Ah, and now there I can enter date and time. And today is the 2nd uh, of October in 2025. And it is 40 minutes before 8 p.m. Yeah. Uh, so, wrong. This is, yeah. But otherwise, I cannot delete things I have entered. So, I have to enter some crap. We'll try it again. Yeah, it's 20 minutes before 8 p.m. So that's starting. So let's switch to the other port. Wait until and turn that machine on. And it's a bit louder because the then is set to full power. So now also the test also completed. Ah, I've, there's a mistake. This is, these are not RF32, these are RF35s. 
as you can see you have them here uh, DAI DIA02 and 3 um, and because the hard drives are not connected to the other um, this is IBUS, they are not called uh, DIA, they are now called DIB and DI by DID3 is the system disk uh, where the other fax is booting from at the moment uh, and normally, I hope the machine is running, I can abort that after a while now while pressing the hot button for, that's uh, not fast enough Hit enter and then press the hold button. Normally, yeah, normally, uh, now uh, the, there's a dead sergeant and I can enter show ESSI and it should show the other wax as well. I think they are called disk 0, disk 1, and disk 2. Uh, we do not know what's installed or if anything is installed in the device, so this is something I have to try it out when the Vex 4000 is running well. But it should show the other controller. Yeah, there is a controller DBS3 on node 5. Yeah, so this is working, but I will uh, turn it off again because, yeah, there it's not working very fine. But it sees all or detects all hard drives. So let's switch back to the other port. Check if it's booted now or not. Yeah, it's booted. So log in. And there is OBMS. Let's see the devices. Ah, yeah, it's too long, I know. Should know it, but I forget it all the time. There are the three hard drives. So yeah, this is working. So the expander is working fine in that uh, the cluster environment. Yeah, but uh, the Vex 4000 not. But I can boot the yeah now the uh, Vex 4000 at least the Vex 4200 from the hard drives and use all four hard drives. So yeah, I still have a running Vex with, uh, in an open VMS environment. Yeah, and uh, this Vex yeah is something yeah I, uh, I have to work on. Yeah, but uh, I I hope. Yeah, that I'm able to well, uh, bring it back to life in the next one or two months, yeah, maybe, or, or I will find a new power supply. Yeah, but uh, this is the end of uh, that episode, the integration episode, and I hope you found that interesting, and you can leave comments down below, and you can leave a like, because I really uh, appreciate when you yeah, uh, leave a like, uh, and yeah, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, you know that stuff from other YouTube channel, and uh, see you in the next episode.